Your vehicle's windshield and headlights throw reflections that are easily spotted from the sky. Get your truck to its proper position, then eliminate these reflections with a blanket or shelter half. Natural materials such as leaves will also mask these danger spots. Eliminate the black hole caused by the shadow in the back of the truck by rolling the canvas down. If the overhead cover isn't enough, use some branches and small trees, but gather them at a distance so that the cutting will not draw attention to the new position. Be careful to trample through the underbrush as little as possible to avoid a network of tracks leading to the bivouac. Place branches so they will appear to be part of the surroundings. If placed upside down, the leaves will stand out like a sore thumb because of their light colored undersides. Here's something you might not think of. Trees from certain families, such as the pines, should never be used in the same spot with completely different types, unless, of course, the existing growth is mixed in the same way. So be sure you match the natural foliage. Don't ever use withered material. Its light color causes it to look artificial from the air. The use of fresh foliage is imperative. Too much material may also spotlight the installation. This is because the natural shadows between the leaves are crushed out when branches are piled in a mass and the truck looks like a brush pile rather than a dark green tree. If the shadow of the truck is in sharp outline, break it up with the irregular shadow of a small tree. This truck is properly camouflaged. The aim is not to cover it completely, but to break up its regular man-made form and shadow. 